Chapter one, what is theater? It's a vague question. Uh, the word comes from the Greek word teatron, which means seeing place. Uh, so it literally translates that theater is a place where things are seen. Uh, but the word has a lot of different contexts, a lot of different meanings. Uh, we use the, the word to refer to um, a place, like a building, right? An activity of theater. Um, we also use the word to explain other things, like uh, places where wars happen, like a mil the theater of war, right? Like a military theater, a place where battles are fought, or a theater of surgery, where surgeries are done. So the word is used a lot uh, to describe a myriad of different things. But what we're talking about is the activity involved in theater, the activity of theater itself. Um, now, there's a couple different ways to look at that inside of the word, what is theater, right? So the first one would be the occupation of theater. Uh, it, is, it is a vocation. It is something that you can go to school and study. Um, and it's not just one person doing theater. There's a bunch of people involved in the process of making theater. Uh, it is a, one could even say that it's a, a body politic, if you will, of different skill sets and masteries that come together uh, to create what we understand to be a play. So we can divide those occupations up into a number of different sort of subsections, including producing, which we've talked about already a little bit. Um, the idea of the person that, that deals with the legal side of theater, who deals with publishing rights, who deals with financing, who deals with the business staff, things like that. Um, the director, who is the person who's in control of the artistic side of putting on a play, right? The boss of the production, uh, helping to give it a unified vision, if you will. Uh, the actors, the people who perform the play, the designers, the people who design the visual, the sonic, the scenic elements, including costuming and makeup and all kinds of different stuff. Uh, you have your carpenters, uh, who are different from the designers who create it on paper. The carpenters take that, obviously, and carpenter it. You see my little workbench back there? I've been carpentering. I just built those two workbenches. Uh, so I do some carpentering myself. Uh, so I know a little bit about that. You have the crew, uh, the people who work behind the scenes during a show uh, to make the show run. You have the stage manager and the house manager, right? The stage manager deals with all of the backstage activities during a show, makes the show go, calls the show, meaning calls the cues, right? The, the signals for the light and the sound and the set to move and change. <laughs> Excuse me. And you have the house manager who is in charge of all of the house activities. The house, of course, being the separate place from the stage. The house is where the audience sits during a show. Now there's other people as well. And we're not talking about just yet. You have the playwright, right? The person who writes the play. You have the people who deal with musical theater and composing. You have choreographers. You have puppeteers. All different forms of mastery and craft that can go into the occupation or the job vocation of theater. Now, I can tell you that you can study theater at really high levels, right? You do drama class in middle school or high school. You can even go back as far as my oldest daughter in second grade. She can go to drama class every day where they play drama games, and you can take all of that all the way up to a PhD in theater. We're kind of getting off track here, but it's just kind of interesting to note that each one of those things that I mentioned has its own master's track, right? So you can go study acting in college after you do it in high school. Uh, then you can go and get 